So, what's good everybody? My first guest today is the lovely Daniel Bertrand Grell. Daniel is um, an up and coming actor. Yes, of course. Yeah, up and coming actor. Yeah. Daniel is going to talk to us a bit about his experiences obviously in the, the industry. industry and a lot of the stuff that he's um, gone through, which, yeah. is, which is cool. Um, so yeah, just to start stuff off, mm -hmm. um, Looking at your your career, obviously, and stuff, you seem to have known that you wanted to act really early, like having gone to like drama school and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Is that true? Like, did you just um, know you wanted to be an actor? Yeah, I always knew. I mean, when I was six years old, this is going to sound random, but mm. we had a nativity play. Mm -hmm. and as we all did. Yeah, as yeah. we all did. That and happened, and my teacher, she literally was like, if you don't learn your lines, you're going to lose the part. Okay. And I remember as a kid, that kind of threw me. That's, that's like, pressure, you're yeah. six. Yeah, exactly. You don't say that to a kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then after that, it was just literally like, yeah, I, I aced the part. <sighs> People kind of said, oh, like you're, you're going to be an actor when you grow up. I was like, mm. Okay, so you didn't really get into it, but then you got a bit gassed. Yeah. When people were like, oh, yours good, yeah. yours good. I was okay. like, All right, cool. So you started young. Yeah. And you was like, yeah, like the taste of this. Where did you go from there? So, six years old, you're then, what, 11, 12? Yeah. Like, what was the next jump in your, give us the timeline. So basically, got to 11, mm -hmm. and um, you know you have to change schools, and my mum wanted me to go to drama school. Okay. At that age, I was like, no, I want to be with the other kids. Your mum actually wanted you to go yeah, to drama school? That's did. actually really cool. Yeah, she like, wanted usually me to go. it's like, like art. Yeah, no, yeah. Be a doctor. Yeah, or didn't do drama until I was 18. Okay. Because my teacher, my head teacher, told me that I shouldn't do it for choices. Yes. So she's like, no, we don't want you to do drama, no. no. We want you to do business studies. So and then obviously yeah. after that, I went to college, did music B Tech. Right, short version. Did the B Tech at Southwark College, didn't like it. Then I was like, I want to do performing arts. Yeah. And then I did performing arts at South Thames. Okay. Plugging it out there. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, South Thames. Yeah, that's when kind of <laughs> I studied acting properly. Yeah and then moved on to drama school and stuff like that after that. Okay. But actually what plugged me to, to kind of go for drama was the fact that I got my first role. Yes. In, which was in adulthood. Okay. So that was your first experience of being on a on set, set and yeah. stuff. So how was that? Obviously that's no clock. Yeah. Yeah. So it, was, it was good. It was, it was great, man. The, it was the first experience I had. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect no clock to be the way he was because mm -hmm. I expected him to be like, I don't know, man. Just, well, to, yeah. Just yeah. But, before we get on to the most recent thing that we're going to talk about and stuff, yeah. last year you were part of the Unfamous series. Yeah. And how did that come about? That was just random. I got just a message to say, there's a shoot. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come along? Do you want to come along? Okay. Just, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not my best performance. <laughs> I know that's going to come back to haunt mm -hmm. me. You know what? You know what? You everyone has to start somewhere, and at the end of the day, it's adding to the portfolio. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I want to remove don't, that. No, don't ever knock it. Don't know. Don't no, I'm not knocking. I, swear. I know I should. I should be proud, but yeah. I look at. I'm quite critical of myself. I know even with Honey Trap, I look at that and go, I should have done that here. I should have done that there. But I'm always going to do that because that's the type of person I am. There you go. Yeah. Everybody's their own worst critic. That's yeah. good. So as you said, you know, smoothed in there nicely. Yeah. Honey Trap is <laughs> your most, uh, not your most recent. It was kind of my debut. Most, yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's, it. you mentioned that it got pushed or... Because it was meant to come out basically this year. This year, but, but now it's, it's next, next year. year. So uh, saying next that, year. before we go on to that, um, we've got the trailer now. So you want to do like a little introduction for it or... Honey trap. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> You're walking there fast, man. It's the hurry. Oh, mate, that lives right there. <laughs> we used to go private school. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come Seen the trailer 
now? Yeah. Tell us about it in two, three sentences. Um, Sell the tin. Make me go. So basically, it's <laughs> it's about a girl called Layla, and she's kind of come from Trinidad. She's come to London to live with her mum again. And the story is basically about kind of her struggle, or her struggles, and also the whirlwind story between her friend Sean and this guy she really, 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 really is bang on, right, called Trey. And Trey's the bad boy, and obviously, yeah, and obviously Sean is the good guy. And she kind of well, sets up a trap. The good guys. Which is the honey trap. Yeah. And it's, it's a better story than that, obviously. I'm crap at describing stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Mm -hmm. We hear a lot about that stuff in in the media. I yeah, guess. yeah. And like, even I've had friends visit and they would be like, oh, because we're from South. I live in South. Yeah. And, um, it, you know, even you said to me like, oh, am I going to have to look where I'm going? That type of thing. It's just like... I'm not from, I don't want to say that world, but I'm not from that yeah, world where like, people set people up like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Or, do you know what I mean? So to see, to be able to go and watch that and see that those can be people's reality. Yeah, it, I, I do find that it's going to be, it's going to be really interesting. So we're going to play a little game now, Dan. Yes. And you just say the first answer that comes to your head. Not comes to your head, but the first choice. Yeah. And you just say it, right? Okay, so. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Or Real Housewives of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Top or bottom? Top. Naked or pajamas? Naked. Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Single or relationship? Or relationship. Phone or text? Text. Paris or Rome? Rome. Chocolate or sweets? Sweets. Designer or high street? High street. Kanye or Jay Z? Kanye. And love or your career? Career, man. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about the industry. As in, it's like this big ominous thing that yeah. we always talk about and, you know, who's involved in it and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure you've had good and bad experiences. Yeah. So, you know, first, what's a really good experience that you've had where you thought, rah, I I'm going to do this? I think, to be honest honey trap because of the people that I met mm -hmm. on set. Rebecca Johnson, our director, the most lovely director I've worked with. Um, Lucian as well, Lucian Laviscount. Oh yeah. He plays Trey. Mm -hmm. He's sharp. He's um he <laughs> I know every girl likes no, him. No but he's really hot <laughs> <laughs> No but he is he's the man like yeah. honestly like you I don't know, from a guy's perspective, you think like, okay, a guy gets a lot of girls, he's going to yeah. be a bit of a, yeah. do you know what I mean? And but he likes to get it. Honestly, you he know. is <laughs> humble actors I've worked with. Him and um, Tongu, he plays Sean as well. I mean, the whole crew was, and the whole cast as well. But those two guys stuck out for me. Cause, really cool. Yeah. So you know what, it's, you know, who you know. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, Lucian. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's I've got his number in my phone. But anyway. Seriously, <laughs> you know when? You know when me and you? <laughs> yeah. Cool film, cool film. Yeah, let, 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 let me not get carried away. Let me not get. Let me not get. And um, <laughs> yeah. bad experiences. Uh, people just not caring. Because mm -hmm. I started off. I know it's controversial. I started off as an extra, mm -hmm. right? So when you're an extra, becoming an actor, or when you are an actor who has to play. The extras roles to get to the top mm -hmm. a lot of people will just you know what i mean on you they'll just not care they'll be like you could say okay i've had all this training and i've done this and i've done that and they'll be like okay cool mm -hmm. i was so like can i try and get an audition yeah don't hear anything okay what it's about you can't expect to go to the kind of castings and have no experience mm -hmm. but at the same time you can't expect to go to castings or even get a casting director to look at your cv and you've just got all extras work yeah. you have to have the characters you can't just have gang member on the bus <laughs> or like cannabis smoking boy. yeah <laughs> do you know what i mean you have to have characters uh, yeah exactly. and i know it's hard especially with screen work mm -hmm. like to get characters but go to your local theater mm -hmm. do you know what i mean get a character through that there you go. Do you understand? And Bass put it on your CV. Bass. All right, this one is finish the sentence. Okay. There are six statements. Okay. Once again, the first thing that comes to your head, 
yeah. will get an insight as to, you know, what you feel about stuff. Mm -hmm. So, first one. I believe... I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Okay. Acting to me is... Everything. The thing that lasts is... Love. But yet you chose your career over love. But, you know, like... Uh, it's, 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 career, man. Career. Can't it? change it. Oh, love, bro. Cool. I relax when... I'm at home. Love means? Uh, well, I can say everything mm -hmm. again, but love means, I don't know, connection. Okay. And lastly, truth is? Everything. 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 All about the honesty, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Completely. <laughs> What's the future for you? Like, what are you you're looking to do? Well, 2014 and beyond. I just want to be the best actor I can be. Steve? Thanks for tuning in and we hope you had fun. We did. Yeah, we, we did. did. We did. Of course we, we did. Of course we had fun. Yeah. But yeah, plug yourself. Twitter and Instas and... Uh, Twitter, Daniel Bertrand underscore. IMDB, you can obviously just type in my name and mm. just find Daniel Bertrand Girl on IMDB. Type it, you'll find me. Google, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah. Instagram is the same as my Twitter, so Daniel Bertrand underscore. Very easy to find. Yeah. Google him. See you later. See you later.